Downtown Romania, beautiful Bucharest, Romania, the setting for the 2019 European Wrestling Championships. Welcome inside Salapoli Valin Auditorium as we get set for the first five finals of these European Championships. We start at 57 kilos, up to 65, 70, 79, and then we cap it off at 97. Sean Kenny alongside Eric Olenowski. Eric does all the, the web directing, the social media director for United World Wrestling. Eric, great to have you with us here in the broadcast booth. I know you're one of the, the busier guys around these, these championships. Happy to be here. Well, we saw some stunners so far through the first couple of days in the semifinals just a few moments ago. Erdine of Turkey pinned in the first period. So 70 kilos, a weight class we'll see later on tonight. A couple of world champions go down in the opening round. You just never know, do you? No, absolutely. And the most important thing here is worry about the second period. You, yeah. A lot of these guys don't wrestle through the first period, and we saw it with Erdine. Yeah, no doubt about it. A couple of bronze medal matches before we move into the gold medal. This is for bronze medal one. Macedonia and Romania. Vladimir Igorov of Macedonia, Andrei Dukov representing Romania. He's got this large partisan crowd behind him. Romania's had a good day and a half in freestyle. They, had a number of semifinalists last night. We saw semifinalists kick off our coverage earlier tonight. Just can't get that ticket punched into the gold medal round, but a chance to earn bronze in front of this large crowd. And Dukov right here is allowing Igorov to control the ties. And he's getting to that right, or excuse me, that left elbow, and he has to work to get to some sort of offense. He's allowing Dukov to slow him down. Dukov gets worn. Next time he'll go on to the shot clock for Romania. He's a veteran, 30-year-old veteran, represented Romania in the World Championships the past three years. Low shot that time by Igorov. Elevates that leg, finishes it up with authority for two. Textbook on the lightning quick strike. The most important thing there is he came directly up to his feet, no pause right up to his feet and knew exactly where he was on the mat to pick up that two. Igorov was tested earlier today. He fell behind in the first period in his opening round. I should say yesterday in his opening round competition was found a way to win that and continues to battle here for Macedonia, 2-0 lead. Two minutes into this opening period. And that's sometimes what you need is give up a takedown. It might sound crazy to get the wheels going. Give up a takedown, spark that plug, start to work from behind. I know there's a lot of wrestlers that that's, that's what it takes. Get your blood flowing, you calm down, you're in the match, the whistle's going. And hopefully that's what we see here from Dukov. to that front headlock just for a moment. Into period points. We'll talk about this a lot throughout the next hour and a half as we bring you these five weight classes. We've seen the veterans really step up in these closing seconds of a period. They know how valuable it is. Short time wrestling, if you will. And it doesn't appear we're going to get points in this particular tail ender. As Opening three minutes in the books. Macedonia with the 2 nothing lead. You now, Eric, when you look at the big picture so far as we digest everything that we've seen, Azerbaijan, Turkey, Russia, three finalists coming up tonight. Good start for those three nations. Yeah, and it's very important to pick up ranking series points here, especially moving into the final two ranking series events of the year. And those ranking series points, of course, matter when it comes down to the seeding process of the World Championships. And we were talking with Fatih Erding, potentially had the opportunity to close out 
the Continental Championships with locking up the number one seed and throwing Yazdani and David Taylor against each other, but it's it's important here. These third place finishers will get eight points and the fifth place finishers will get six points in addition to the number of wrestlers in their bracket. Hey, attention, please, attention, gentlemen. Hey. No finger, blue, no finger. No block, no block. A lot of pressure on that neck of Dukov. He's able to clear it away. 2-0, Igorov with the lead. Dukov fires a blank as he went in for a shot, came up empty. A lot of hand fighting between these two 57 kilo wrestlers. And you're right, Eric, it, it's Dukov trying to figure out a way to get past that hands defense right now of Igorov. And now if you are Dukov, what he's doing there is he's starting to circle to his left. And what that's doing is it's getting Igorov to step with that right foot. We saw that high crotch attempt go to that right foot. So now you have to be aware of that if you are Igorov. And it's all about constantly adjusting to what your opponent is doing. So if he's going to the right side, and there it is, that high crotch. And here comes that crowd in Bucharest. Dukov gets the two, immediately trying to hook up that lace and get a roll. He's close to getting the turn. Igorov fighting with all he has. Pressure still being applied. There it is for two. Boy, he was grinding. I thought for a moment Igorov somehow might thin that off, but he just kept cranking and cranking, and he's able to get the two. A lot of pressure on the lower back and on the knees, but what that was was Dukov staying with what he was good at, kept the momentum rolling, and that's exactly what the momentum did is it rolled over Igorov. Dukov leading four to two. Now we've seen Igorov over the past day really get some late points. That time a little bit too hard with the slap. That certainly caught the attention of Igorov. A Romanian bouncing around after this last stretch of events that we just saw. But Igorov so dangerous in the closing minute and he comes firing in. He'll get the step out and the one. And you see Dukov with a deep breath, and that deep breath is coming from the bottom of his stomach. So you're starting to see fatigue set in here. Dropping down to that low leg is Igorov. Scramble situation, flips him right over onto his back, and he'll get the two. And as expected, like script says, Igorov with that final 60 seconds of energy grabs the lead right back. And the break in action is exactly what Dukov needed. He was holding on to that leg rather than bellying out. Either way, referee stopped the match. 33 seconds left to get one. What's your go-to takedown? He's got a nation behind him here inside the arena. He's in on a shot. Another scramble situation, but Igorov is able to slip away and come out on top, and that should seal the bronze for Macedonia. He took a shot, Eric. Did, but he stayed low. And sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. We see with you who you'll see, Abdul Rashid Sajalayev, he stays low on his shot. But the difference there was that right hip was up, and Igorov was able to capitalize, pick up his second takedown of the period. Bronze medal for Vladimir Igorov of Macedonia and disappointment for the 30-year-old veteran from Romania. He had that first period under control, but Igorov in the final 60 seconds really able to assert his will and he comes away with a bronze, a 7-4 win for Macedonia.